right, we're going to go through part B of 2016. Are you ready? Now, this portion, you're going to see something very interesting because they're going to introduce a solution and with that, they are going to help you to find out who exactly is PQR. So, get ready for some fun experiment. Hi, we have come to the second part. So are we ready? Let's begin. Add about 1 cm depth of solution P into a clean boiling tube. This is a boiling tube, 1 cm. So ready? Let's prepare. 1 cm P. And then to this boiling tube, add another, add about 1 cm depth of copper 2 sulfate solution. This is copper 2 sulfate solution over here. Okay, so I add another 1 cm. Okay, so this is P. This is CuSO4, making sure that I write this as B part 1, okay? And then you have to gently heat this test tube for at least about 1 minute and do not allow the mixture to boil too vigorously, okay? So I'm going to put this back here. Now next part, to add about 2 cm depth. Now from 1 cm depth, I become 2 cm depth. So make sure I put 2 cm. And this is Q. Okay, and then um, let me write this down. Okay, and then I'm supposed to add another 2 cm depth of CuSO4. Okay, so this is CuSO4. Now, this part here is B part 2. Transfer the mixture to a small beaker and strongly heat this beaker so that the mixture in it boils vigorously for at least 2 minutes. So, this portion here, I put it over here and then let me label Q actually I have labeled it just now already so label Q let me put this back here now let's move on to the next part now to the next part here say add about 1 cm depth of solution R into a clean boiling tube now this is a boiling tube 1 cm another 1 cm okay and then this is R and then this is Cu S O four, and then I make sure I add in, uh, label it as B. Part three. All right. Okay. So I've labeled everything. So let's begin the entire experiment. The first one is to add P. This is my solution P. Okay. And then I'm going to change a marker in a while because uh, it seems like it's running out of ink, but it's okay. So I'm going to add P over here. Followed by copper sulfate. Wow, the color changed a little bit. And, okay, if I see a little bit closer, all right, I see a little bit of change of color from this is blue, but this one seems to be a little bit grayish inside, but never mind. Then they say to gently heat this boiling tube for at least one minute, but do not allow the mixture to boil. So let me on the Bunsen burner. Let's put this down here first. Set up the Bunsen burner. Heat this for at least about a minute, okay? But do not allow it to boil too vigorously. So let me heat this first. Allow it to boil, but not too vigorously. Okay, not too vigorously. Let's put it away. Okay, now comparing this color to this color, it seems like there's not a lot of vigorous changes to it. Okay, I'm going to use my... Now, it still looks uh, blue. Now, even if under the white color background, it still looks very blue to me. Okay, so I'm going to write down my observation nonetheless. Okay, let me turn off the Bunsen burner so that it's easier and not so scary. So right now, I'm going to write down solution P is a colorless solution. Upon, let me use another marker, upon adding CuSO4, okay, 
solution remain clear blue upon he heating solution remain unchanged okay even though just now I saw a little bit grayish, um, but I'll let it uh, set. I'll just let it cool down. Let's see later on where anything changes, okay? Let's move on to the next one. Now, this portion here is Q, so I'm going to add Q. followed by my copper sulfate. Wow, okay, very nice color for me. It's a blue precipitate, okay. Now they say, shake the mixture thoroughly, transfer this mixture to a small beaker, and strongly heat this beaker so that the mixture in it boils vigorously, okay. So, I have the beaker over here. I'm going to transfer it right over in front here. Okay, so pull this back down. Put this back, okay, on my Bunsen burner. Okay, now they say over here, heat this beaker so that the mixture in it boils vigorously for at least two minutes. So I'm gonna let it boil, but right now while this boiling, I write down what I observe. Solution P, Solution Q, I'm sorry, is a colorless solution. Okay, now, upon adding CuSO4 solution, not solution anymore, okay, I'm sorry, you should write down a blue precipitate or blue PPT is observed. Okay, shake the mixture thoroughly upon shaking. Blue PPT do not dissolve. Okay, transfer the mixture and let's heat it for at least two minutes. So I'm letting it heat. So what is heating? Okay, let me adjust this a little bit. I will move on to my next one, which is the last one, my R solution. So R is the same thing over here. And let me add a little bit of the... Uh, Go on to add the copper sulfate. Now, R is a clear solution. Upon adding my uh, copper sulfate solution, it is still clear, but the color changes a little bit. So I'm going to write it down over here first. But before I do anything, um, let's take a look at the boiling process. Okay, so it's boiling, it's boiling, and it's changing a little bit of color. Okay, but as they are boiling, so um, I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to be a little bit careful and then move on to the next part first. I will come back with the boiling in a while, okay, to observe uh, the reaction. So let's move on to this part here. Okay, click the paper and then let's go on. Solution R is a colorless, I'm sorry, solution, okay upon adding CuSO4 okay solution gives a slight green color okay now this portion here I actually see a little bit of green precipitate forming as well okay so I'm going to use the camera and let you see right in the inside over here it seems a little bit green can't you see all right, okay. Now, let's take a look at this one here for R. Comparatively, this two solution. This is a little bit dark blue, and this one, actually, I feel that it looks a little bit slight green color solution, but because I'm supposed to heat it, let's heat it and see what color it changes, okay? But this one, I can say that upon heating, it gives a slight green 
precipitate so I'm going to add on this one over at this part okay now because it's heating and I want to show the difference so I'm going to I don't need this anymore I'm going to use another color so that you can see the difference over here okay upon heating the mixture is not a solution so I write down the word mixture the blue precipitate or the blue PPT turns turn green full stop okay now let's move on to the next one with my R now okay let me pull this out okay take this in my hand and then use my test tube holder okay do both at the same time okay so that's the interesting part about doing practical because you can do everything and then you can control it okay so let's heat for at least about a minute if they say a minute I will heat a minute okay wow I can see it changing color okay from a blue to a light green I really hope that the camera can capture it because it look like lime green to me right now okay and it's so lime green oh I really hope that you can see it because from my eye it can see so clearly okay you can see so oh brilliant brilliant oh this is so good this is fantastic all right um okay upon heating solution gives a lime green color voila i'm happy with this okay we have finished the all the execution well after you have watched part B of 2016, you understand that it is a reaction between PQ and R with copper sulfate. How each and individual one of them react with copper sulfate. So later on, you will notice that the next part that's coming up, I will show you all the different equations and how I actually match them up. So stay tuned and watch.